Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We begin today's program with an invocation song called the Tamil Thai Vartan, our state song sung in reverence to the Tamil language, one of the oldest languages in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this 21st weekly meeting of the Rotary Club of Madras when RCM meets Rotary International President nominee Mario Caesar Martins, who's just joined us. Welcome, sir. I am Rotarian Prabha Srinivasan, the treasurer of RCM and your MC for the day. While you might have witnessed many Rotary meetings or Zoom meetings across the world, today we bring you a truly different format as we straddle three continents in bringing you this edition. RCM is part of Rotary District 3232, which is one of the largest district consisting of 189 clubs, encompassing 7,000 members, 135 road tract clubs, making up about 9,000 road tractors. We've got the following district dignitaries with us today. We have District Governor Ravi Raman, District Governor-elect Saravanan, District Governor nominee Vinod Sarogi, who's here with us in the studios. Other Rotarians joining us from our studio here in Chennai are President-elect RCM Chella Krishna, President-nominee RCM Nikhil Raj, past President Gopina, who has been instrumental in inviting many of the people who are attending this meeting today, our current secretaries, Rotarian Seisha Sai and Director Club Services Vikram Chesetti, who has curated today's events. And then from Japan, we have a 95th president, Rotarian uh, Ravi, who is joined by Sabina Narayan, our director, uh, TRF, who are also touring the country with about 40 other Rotarians from our club. And last but not the least, we have our guest of honor, Rotary, Rotary International President nominee, uh, Mario Cisa Martins from Sao Paulo. Welcome, everyone. So we commence with the collaring of our 95th president in the land of the rising sun. May I please ask our Sergeant in Arms acting, uh, Sabina Narayan, to please do the honors. Namaste and a warm hello to everyone, all, especially to all our Rotary, Rotary dignitaries and most especially to Rotary International President nominee, Rotarian Mario Camargo. Welcome from Rafti Osaka to this 21st meeting of the Rotary Club of Madras. I now hand over the proceedings of the meeting with the collaring of our president, Ravi Sundaresan. Thank you, Rotarian Sabina, for coloring me. I hereby call the 21st weekly meeting of the Rotary Club of Madras to order. 
May I have the confirmation of our 20th weekly meeting held on 21st November 2023, please? Uh, uh, thank you. Now it's uh, time to go ahead with our uh, regular schedule. So, Vanakkam and good evening. It's indeed a pleasure to warmly welcome our Rotary International President nominee, Rotarian Mario Camargo of Brazil to the Rotary Club of Metras. Albeit, virtually from rather dark and cold night in Osaka, Japan. I would also like to extend a warm welcome to uh, District 3232 last governor, Rotarian Ravi Raman, and new District 3234 uh, district governor elector, uh, Rotarian N.S. Saravanan, and new District uh, 3234 um, district governor nominee, Rotarian Vinod Sarogi, uh, were also on this uh, call as uh, also the dignitaries and uh, Rotarians from around the world. And you know, as the third oldest club in India, chartered on July 19th, 1929, we enjoy the prestige of being highly valued for the scale and depth of our projects and their impact on the community and the distinguished membership we have. You know, this 95th year has felt like an august opportunity for Rotary Club of Madras to go avant-garde. We continue to work towards our overall vision, which is to lead, uh, lead the way to a kinder, healthier, more inclusive, and a sustainable world. In alignment with uh, uh, Rotary International Five Avenues of Service and seven areas of focus attuned always to the four-way test. Wow. Our mission is to focus on working on these areas to create giant-sized measurable impact in every single area of focus. The theme for this 95th year is uh, building responsible communities, uh, which in turn will create uh, you know, warp in the world. Now, I would like to give very brief uh, background on our Road Club of Madras so that uh, all others will know about uh, our club. We currently have 275 members from varied vacations uh, and Tuesdays or our weekly meetings. So far, we have been fortunate to raise uh, for about uh, uh, 6 lakh US dollars plus to fund our projects in a phased manner. Now, we have also contributed in excess of four million dollars uh, to our um, TRF, and also what happens? Uh, we have made fifty major donors and six AKS members, and we have a total twenty-eight interactive clubs and eleven road track clubs. We're all actively engaged in our Rotary Club of Metras activities. Our club has been privileged to have 18 district governors and the first RI uh, director from India is from our Rotary Club of Metras. We have sponsored 22 clubs directly, but also have been indirectly responsible for the birth of almost all the clubs uh, in South India. All of this has been possible, uh, mainly because of uh, the pillars of uh, 95 member, 94 uh, past presidents and PDGs, 
and uh, RA director, first RA director. Now, I would like to uh, request our Rotarian Sabina to highlight about our projects which we are planning to undertake this year. And she will be coming into. Um, yeah. yeah, please. RCM has paid great attention to each area of focus. Promote peace. RCM action, <clears throat> the aim to promote peace by engaging interactors in our district in a competitive performing arts festival titled Perform for Peace. Fighting disease. RCM has installed dialysis machines at Chennai. Besides running routine camps for overall medical, dental, and mental well being. With regard to providing clean water, sanitation, and hygiene, the 1750 toilets built by RCM have made 11 villages open defecation free, and we have installed WASH in 30 schools this far. The focus area of saving mothers and children has seen RCM initiate the mobile mammogram facilities, Save a Heart project for children, and the Smart Vision project. To support education, RCM has established digital literacy in 100 government schools by providing smart classrooms through Tata Edge. Additionally, our ongoing legacy Boys Town project supports the needs of 120 boys from the economically disadvantaged backgrounds nurturing them comprehensively by addressing their holistic education, housing, medical, etc. To aid the growing local economies, RCM is building homes for 100 homeless families in Gumripundi and continues to implement skill development through vocational training projects at Rotrinagar, Seliur, and Simbakam. Our technical training center addresses vocational training for those with speech, hearing, and mild physical impairments. Rotary Nagar, our oldest ongoing project since 1944, supports the needs of the local community, empowering women, men, and children through various educational and skill development interventions. Lastly, yet most meaningfully and impactfully, to protect the environment, RCM has been responsible for the restoration and creation of water bodies, water channels, impacting 27,000 hectares. Thank you. Over to you, President Ravi. Uh, thank you, Rudy Sabina. Now, I request a uh, uh, tech team to play the couple of uh, projects which we would like to highlight for the members who are present uh, in this meeting. Yes. Welcome to Rotary Club of Madras Boys Town Campus in Gumaripundi. This campus spread over 34 lush acres being a product of the ceaseless efforts by our Environment Action Committee to make this a green bhoomi. These 34 acres started off with a generous donation of 14 acres by Rotarian Markhand Desai, a former Rotarian. The balanced 20 acres were purchased through Children's Trust UK at the behest of our past president and DG, Benjamin Cherian. Boys Town has a capacity for 120 boys whom we aim to provide a holistic and well-rounded education, nurturing a generation healthy in mind, body and spirit, to be socially, environmentally and civically responsible citizens. Out of the 34 acres, we have earmarked 2.55 acres for the new project Rotary Club of Madras, Worth Private Industrial Training Institute, Tiruvallur, in collaboration with the eminent NGO, Worth Trust, who, for six decades, have specialized in training and rehabilitating people who are differently abled. The newly constructed main building of 4,500 square feet contains the CMC unit, machine unit, turner unit and administrative block. 
there are 10 residential blocks of 8,000 square feet that are refurbished to house the trainees. This entire project of Rs 5.5 crores has been made possible through global grant funding and the generous donations of our own club members to whom we remain indebted. It is our aim to create a more inclusive society where these differently able students can in the future live independent lives with dignity and pride. We thank all our sponsors who have generously contributed to this project. Thank you, Tech Team. Uh, dear Roti friends, how this has been possible? Uh, thanks to the spirit of uh, uh, Roti teamwork and the openness to listen and the ability to come together for purpose greater than any individuals. That is the hallmark of our Roti Club of Madras. The Roti Clubs, like ours, shares the value of a service above self and rise to these challenges with resilience, adaptability, and unwavering dedication. Fellowship and collaboration being the key highlights of the Rotary Network, we look forward to a continued friendship and to exploring the opportunities to work together to achieve even greater impact in our communities. Now, I would like to end with the Vera Johnson words. Why we are here is, uh, uh, not for our own glory. Ultimately, we are here to lead and serve everybody else. In doing so, we hope to encourage others to do the same. Uh, thank you, Nandri and Vanakram. Now, I hand over the proceedings to Rotarian Prabha, Treasurer and MC. Over to India, please. Thank you, President and Rotarian Sabina, for giving us a perfect window into highlighting the various projects of Rotary Club of Madras, and especially our flagship project in the Boys Town Society, with our crown jewel being the Technical Training Center for the Differently Abled. I'd like to now invite uh, past President Gopi, who has been instrumental in inviting much of the audience today to not only acknowledge, but also formally invite all the attendees today. Uh, thank you, Prabha, and welcome all. Uh, it's my special welcome to RIP and Mario de Camargo. Um, we are really delighted to have you here. Uh, we have a few guests here. We have 119 people on the call just now. Uh, and we have uh, PDG Tom Gump of the Rotary Club of Edina, Minnesota, uh, who's the uh, aide to incoming RI President Stephanie Erchik, as well as the RI Membership Growth Committee member. Uh, we have PDG Subraman Ganesh from the Merthyr Titfil uh, uh, Club in uh, Wales. We have uh, Rotarian Karaba Vasudev from the Blackpool Palatine Club in uh, Scotland. Uh, we have Dr. Ananta Badmanaban from the North Fresno in uh, California. We have DG Wakar Rizvi from Stockton, California. Uh, we have uh, many Rotarians from District 3271 and 3272, Pakistan. I unfortunately, due to positive time, I'm not able to recognize each one of them. And we have uh, Sam Hancock from the Rotary Club of Washington, DC. And we have President Manoj Potodia and a host of members from our uh, fellow jo James Wheeler Davidson Club, the Rotary Club of Bombay. Welcome all. Uh, for your information, Mario, the two clubs in India that were formed by a Canadian called James Wheeler Davidson uh, in 1929, Bombay is two months older than us, and we form, we become the second and third oldest club in India after the Rotary Club of Calcutta. Uh, we also have DG Srinivasamurthy and a host of DGNs um, uh, who, are, who, who will be DGs when Mario takes over as RI president. Uh, and Mario, for your information, we have two young boys here, young uh, adults here in Chennai who are from Brazil as part of the Rotary Youth Exchange team. Uh, one is called Nicholas and the other one is called Gabriel. Sorry for not you know, mentioning the whole name because it's a tongue twister and I'm not able to get it. 
So they are also on the call. If can you, Srinivas, uh, the two people, can you just, uh, it's, it's at the name of Sridharan, if you can just spotlight them. Yeah. Sorry, I'll just take a minute. Yeah, um, uh, I'm actually, uh, well, there are a number of more Rotarians from, uh, that is uh, Nicholas and Gabriel, uh, Mario, they're from Brazil, and, uh, uh, you know, only word I know is obrigado, but maybe you can, uh, you know, talk to them when you address them later on. Uh, thank you. And uh, we also have a number of Rotarians from 3220 in Sri Lanka, and, um, you know, our sister club is there called Rotary Club of Colombo Reconnections. We have their president as well as past president on the call. Thank you very much. Thank you, Gopi. We have you to credit for this excellent turnout of international Rotarians and participants. I now turn over uh, the proceedings to our current secretary, Sesh Sai, who will not only make his announcement, but will also be greeting all our Rotarians and family members who will be celebrating birthdays and anniversaries this coming week. Over to you, Sesh. Thank you, Prabha. Uh, Konnichiwa, Ola, and Vanakkam to all of the members there. And uh, next week, our uh, we have a very interesting program, uh, Kartiki Selina Gonzalez, Gonzalez uh, the Oscar winning director of uh, Elephant Whisper is going to address our club and it's going to be a dinner meeting than the normal uh, lunch meeting and then uh, birthdays and uh, anniversary announcements. We have uh, Shaukat Sharif and Uday Narayanan celebrating their birthdays today. We have spouse birthdays and uh, Uma Varman and KK Arun Krishnan, uh, Nandita Krishnan's spouse, uh, Somna Sachdev, Vipin Sachdev's spouse, and Sangeeta Vivek Hari Narayanan, uh, Nikita Akula, Ram, uh, Ramakant Akula's wife, and Chandrika PH, uh, spouse of uh, Shankar Narayanan. And on the anniversaries, we have uh, uh, esteemed uh, Gopal Ratnam and his uh, Madam uh, Ratnam, Guj Kumar and Sangeeta, Rohit Toshniwal and Ruchika. Ravi Badkal and Priya, Sanjay Tulsiyan and Priya Tulsiyan, uh, Sunil Lulla and Brinda, and Kushe, uh, Kishore Dandekar and Meghana. Incidentally, my wife's birthday is on the 30th too. Thank you, Prabha. Thank you, Sesh Sai. Yes. Um, ladies and gentlemen, today's meeting is part of RCM's initiative uh, to, uh, as an outreach program. So far this year, our president has visited several clubs across the country, the most coveted and the oldest clubs. But today's meeting is about reaching beyond our borders. And in doing so, I think it's only fair that for a president who has set the targets as high as he has and taken our uh, and proposes to take RCM's TRF contributions to record levels, it's only fitting that we make this known to the who's who of Rotary. So with that, we start by introducing the reigning governor of District 3232 of the Rotary Year 23-24 Rotarian, the District Governor Ravi Raman. He's been a Rotarian for over 25 years and he hails from the Rotary Club of Madras, Coromandel. He is known as the undisputed champion of global grants, having championed grants worth 25 million. 12 million of that has come in the nine years that have just passed. So he is also a member of the Arch Club Society. So I'd like to turn it over to District Governor Ravi Raman to say a few words. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. 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 All good. Okay. Uh, I would like to thank you for having me here. It's a great event to be in. And um, thanks for the introduction. Obviously, I think all of us are waiting for the main event to listen to what the president normally wants to talk. So I'm also waiting for that. So it's great to be here. Thank you. Thank you, District Governor, for your message. It is now time to invite District Governor Alex Saravanan, as he's fondly known as Namasara. A Rotarian for over two decades, he hails from Rotary Club of Chennai Mitra. He will be the District Governor for 24-25 and the Charter Governor for uh, Rotary District 3234. May I now request DG elect Sarah to deliver his address for this meeting. Thank you, Prabha. Also to add that Namma Sarah. First, uh, need to thank uh, President Ravi, who is having a nice time at Japan and the members to have uh, invite me, invited me to be part of this event, a very important event where we are going to eagerly waiting to listen to our RA president nominee, the future leader, Mario. 
by the i was really not surprised with the kind of pro projects and plans which was displayed few minutes back of madras a parent club to many of us <coughs> in the world <coughs> and being a true <coughs> parent club a club which has a clear succession plan i am sure this has to be an example to many of the clubs and very clearly focus on the seven areas where we need to plan i was part of the few projects during the current year the title talking about building responsible communities is very amazing to you know talk about example of their boys town i think anybody who has a chance to be in uh, chennai need to have a visit to this place to literally know the kind of a project it is it's a too a big project which i'm sure will be a great motivation for many their rotary nagar which helps in many of their vocational training is another one example and the home for homeless is an amazing project i'm sure these people who get benefited their life which is going to be transformed will be our brand ambassador and talking about the greatness of rotary that is a great projects which rotary club of madras has been doing all these years in the 95th year and uh, the current president who is very eager to set all records is totally on it and i'm sure we are going to have a greater days of rotary from rotary club of madras in the coming years thank you once again and eagerly waiting to listen to our future leader mario thank you <laughs> Thank you, District Governor Alex Saravanan, for your message and acknowledging our efforts. It is now time to welcome the rock star of our district, Rotarian District Governor nominee Vinod Sarogi, who happens to be in our studios today, a charter member of the Rotary Club of Madras Central. He is also an Arch Clump Member Society member, and his contributions exceed over two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. He will be the district governor for 25-26. He is also the co-founder of Go Colors and the, both the district as well as Rotary Club around the, our district are extremely grateful to his generosity and we've been huge benefactors of his generosity. Over to you, Vinod. Uh, good evening to one and all who have gathered here today. Uh, greetings to our Rotary International President nominee, Mario Camerago, uh, greetings from the district 3232. Uh, friends, we are fast approaching a new district to be formed on 1st July 2024. Uh, the 3232 will be bifurcated as 3233 and 3234. And I will be the second uh, governor for 3234. Uh, friends, you must be aware that in zone five, uh, district 3232 has been the highest performer uh, in terms of uh, all the areas of focus. Uh, we have been doing high impactive projects, some of which you have seen in the presentation before. Uh, during our last years, we have done 200 dialysis machines through various government hospitals which has been uh, very, very beneficial. During the last year, we have done mammogram machines in many hospitals. Prior to that, we had the Orange Vision Center, uh, which was uh, uh, for the vision impaired in the rural section, uh, connected to six hospitals. Literacy is another area which we have focused in a big way. So RI District 3232 has been doing uh, millions of dollars worth of projects through various global grants, CSR grants. Uh, we have high focus on environment with um, millions of trees, with thousands of trees being planted, restoration of lakes, uh, rainwater harvesting, e-waste e recycling, and avoiding the usage of plastics. So we are very responsible on this. 
and uh, during the pandemic, uh, our district has played a very key role providing oxygen concentrators, cold storage vans, and a huge uh, contribution towards the vaccination drive of the government. So in every area, we have not uh, looked back. We have always been the front runner uh, in the Rotary Foundation. Um, in the Rotary Foundation, uh, we have contributed more than two and a half million dollars, which is a record for Zone 5. We have about 12 AKS members in our district, and our contribution has been wide based across with all the Rotarians. Membership growth has been a focus, and we have added a lot of new members and clubs consistently. And our membership includes 18 to 20 percent of women Rotarians. So we have focused on DEI in our engagement with Rotary. Uh, we also have been uh, introduced uh, the new format clubs. We have a club exclusively for organ donation, a club for all doctors, a club for yoga, a cricket-based club, corporate club, e-club, and satellite clubs. So we have not looked back. Uh, we also have a club for transgenders. So DEI has been a regular feature in our district, which we have done. And Rotaract is the biggest uh, Rotaract community in our part of the district, uh, where we have more than 9,000 Rotaractors. Um, I, we, from the District 3232, invite our world leader, uh, Mario, to visit us and uh, give us his uh, vision and plans and we look forward to meeting him at the earliest possible uh, thank you for the opportunity i must congratulate rotary club of madras for taking this initiative uh, i'm very delighted to be present and would like looking forward to hearing our world leader thank you Thank you, District Governor Nominee Vinod Sarogi. I am sure RI District 3234 will also be charting a course of great success in your care. I'd like to now invite our uh, President Nominee Nikhil Raj to introduce our guest of honor, Rotarian RIP and Mario. Uh, good evening, uh, Rotarians and guests. Uh, as you all know, Mario Cesar Martins G. Camargo will be the Rotary International President for the year 2025-2026. He is a member of the Rotary Club of Santo Andre, Sao Paulo, Brazil. A Rotarian since 1980, G. Camargo served as his club's youth exchange officer in 1981, age 24. He has served Rotary as director, trustee, RI learning facilitator, committee member and chair, and task force member. G. Camargo was president of Grafica Bandaranches and has been a consultant of the print industry in Brazil. He's also served as president and chair of several printing and graphic trade associations, including the Brazilian Association of Graphic Technology and Abigrafi, the Brazilian Printing Industry Association. He has served on the board of Casa da Esperanza, House of Hope, a hospital sponsored by his Rotary Club that serves 150,000 children with disabilities every year. G. Camargo studied in the US and Germany and holds degrees from AISP, Fundasso Gatulio Vargas in Business Administration, and Facultaje G. Giretto do São Bernardo do Campo in Law. He was a youth exchange participant in Minnesota, USA in 1974-75, which inspired a lifelong commitment to the program. G. Camargo and his wife, Denise, are major donors and benefactors of the Rotary Foundation. G. Camargo is fluent in Portuguese, English, Spanish, French, and German, and is currently studying Italian. He has visited 46 countries in the Americas, Europe, Asia, Africa, Middle East, and Oceania, both as a tourist and professionally. G. Camargo plans to focus on membership growth and on how to boost Rotary's public image by working from the top down. Today, he will speak to us on my vision of Rotary. Um, we look forward to hearing from you, sir. Okay. Um, hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Uh, I don't know what part 
uh, you you're hailing from, I know that Sam Hancock and Tom Gump, if they listen to me twice more, they'll be able to replicate my speech without any flaws. So it, it is it is a very good opportunity to exchange ideas and visions, and I thank for Gopi's invitation to be able to address our fellow Rotarians, particularly in India. Uh, actually, I'm going to be in India in 10 days. I'm, I'm supposed to attend the Institute in Bangalore, and I'm going to do some visits to projects before the Institute begins to get a little bit more of information on what is Rory doing in India, uh, where the rubber meets the road, as I like to say, you know, on the club level, that's what moves the Rory wheel better than anybody else. And now we at the board, the president thinks that we are the movers and shakers of Rory, but the real Rotarians are the ones at club level that keep our engine, that keep our gear, our Rory gear rolling and doing good, doing good for the community. I was happily surprised to see, you know, the works of Rory Club of Madras, uh, the third one in India, 1929. It's a long tradition and uh, a very fruitful life, uh, I can tell, very positive life. Um, I'll take a brief moment to address my two fellow countrymen that are living in India. Lucas e Gabriel, eu vou falar com vocês em português para que vocês não tenham problema de tradução. Um abraço, espero que vocês estejam tendo a mesma experiência que eu tive nos Estados Unidos. É uma experiência para a vida. I was telling them that I hope they're enjoying their experience in India as much as I enjoyed my experience in Minnesota. India is not as cold as Minnesota, but I'm sure they will have another another set of experiences that are going to make their worth the while. Uh, the exchange program is a life-changing experience. Uh, the students that go to another country with the perspective of learning the language come back a different human being. Learning the language is just the tip of the iceberg. What you are actually going to acquire in your experience in India, or for that matter, anywhere else in the world, is respect for somebody else's opinion. That is basic to our institution. Uh, if you talk about diversity, if you talk about enlarging clubs, if you're talking about you know, growing membership, the basic idea is an idea of respect. It's out of respect that we started admitting women in 1989. It's out of respect for the younger people that we elevated the Rotaract in 2019. It's out of respect that we are preaching that diversity is one of our core values. Because if we respect the differences and we cherish the differences in human races and religions, and thoughts, and culture, and food, and places, and beliefs, we are Rotarians at heart. That's what is Rory is all about. It started as a diverse institution back in 1905. At that time, diversity was only centered, focused on diversity of professions. But the value of diversity is embedded in our genes since from the very start. What is the main objective of any president for that matter? And I know that Stephanie shares that and Gordon shares that with me. We've been stagnant in our institution for the last 30 plus years. So you don't have to be a genius to guess which priority we are going to pursue. Sustainable, healthy membership growth. We have to realize that the real asset in Rotary 
is not the building we have in Sherman, in, in Sherman Avenue, 1560. It's not even the Rotary Foundation. It's not the donors. It's not the polio eradication. Our first and foremost priority is you, is the Rotarian. Because without you, all our building collapses. Without members, without renovation, without, without rejuvenation of our brand, we are going to perish. We are going to vanish into irrelevance. And that is something that Rotary President will not accept. We have to keep our institution and organization relevant, like we've been over the last 118 years. We've done a lot of good to the world, but now we have to focus a little bit on ourselves to see what we can do to enhance the experience of Rotarians in our club so they don't leave. Diversity or, or membership is priority number one, number two, and number three. I won't dispute that. I'll keep my focus on that. Board meetings, we'll cover that. Success stories. I think District 3232 is a success story because I am part of the redistricting committee at the global level. And I know that you are going to split because I participated in that decision. I wish we had districts with 7,000 plus members in Rotary World so that we could split them and not merge them like we're doing in some other parts of the world, like in my part of the world. In Brazil recently, we merged from 38 down to 31 districts. That's not good news. So we have to share the success stories, whatever they are happening, be it in India, which, are, which is our major example, be it in Korea or Taiwan or Germany or Southern or, or Africa, you know, South, Southern Sahara countries that are also growing membership. We want to listen to the positive stories. Of course, we are going to focus on diagnosing the countries that or the places that are not doing well. We have to focus on places that are not doing well. But we have also to advertise places that are doing well, to inspire and motivate. Maybe they have the recipe that is lacking in some other parts of the world. The Rotary world has different behaviors in terms of membership. Some areas are plummeting in membership, some are stagnant and some are growing. We have to do sustainable growth. I have three suggested tools for achieving that. The first tool is innovation. There is a, an Italian book by an Italian author called Tommaso di Lampedusa. It's called the leopard. It says, for things to remain as they are, we must change. So for Rory to remain as it is, we must change. Simply because the environment, the community, our surroundings change. And if we are to remain relevant, we must change to accompany the pace of evolution. Remember when somebody told us 40 years ago that Rotary was a microcosm of the society that was around us. We still are. We still mirror the talent, the best talent that is embedded in our society, in our communities. So our communities, if they're changing, and they are, whether we notice or not, it doesn't matter. They keep changing. But it's our choice, our decision to keep up with the pace of change. So innovation is key 
rejuvenating our brand is essential to keep a major player in the NGO world. And we must reflect that 100 and plus years ago, when Rotary was started, uh, we scarcely had a competition. Today, we have competition. We have NGOs that are out there fighting for talent, just as we are. So we must be aware that if we don't innovate, if we don't renew, if we don't attract female, if we don't attract people from different religions, if we don't attract younger people, we are doomed. The regions in the world that are resistant to change, it's no coincidence, their membership is dropping. So we have to be open to change. We have to welcome and embrace change as a good thing. I get marvel that when I get into a club like Madras is going to celebrate 95 years next year. I, when I go into a club and I see 80 years old, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, no, that you got the experience of senior leaders and you've got the energy and dynamism, dyna dynamic people that are, for instance, the rotor actors or the younger members in our clubs. We need them. I was admitted into Rotary when I was 23 years old. 23. Somebody was crazy enough, bold enough, courageous enough to put my name forth. And I was surprised that I was accepted because my club was very traditional. Oh, it seems that their investment paid off because they made a Rotor International president. Somebody starting at 23. So don't give up on your younger people. They might be the next, the future Rotary president. Second, continuity. Tom knows I talk and I exchange ideas with Stephanie, with Gordon every single week. We don't necessarily agree on everything. We are all intelligent people, smart people, and we are allowed to think differently depending on the case, depending on the issue. But once the decision is taken, we follow it. You know, as the president, I will be the number one person in the rural world in 25, 26, but I'm still below the institution. I'm not above it. I'm part of a team. I'll try to inspire you. I'll try to motivate you. But I don't have the power to put pressure on you because I cannot fire you. If you don't do your job, there's nothing I can do as Rotary president. I cannot fire people from the Rotary Club of Madras if they don't perform. I don't have that authority. We are a corporation, organization, we are not a business, you know, with profit. So we don't have this power. We have to motivate, to inspire, and to continue. I get very frustrated when I see some leaders in the rural world thinking that they are the new Paul Harris. They are going to start from scratch. They are going to reinvent the wheel. They are Paul Harris resurrected. Now, we are just a tiny gear in this, a tiny tooth in this big gear that is Rotary, even the president. So we must play as a team effort. We must play as a team. And I will need your cooperation to make Rotary grow as much as Stephanie does and Gordon does. So continuity is key, and I wish that this continuity that we are pursuing at the highest level will be followed by directors, will be followed by district governors, will be followed by club presidents. I'm sure that the Rotary Club of Madras and its 94, going to 95 years of existence, 
always had continuity at its heart. Otherwise, it wouldn't have achieved the projects that we just saw. Continuity is the word that has kept polio as our number one external priority. We haven't interrupted polio since 1985, 1988, when it became a corporate challenge. We've all embraced that challenge in a continuous form. And third, I have an idea of partnerships. When I talk about membership, healthy, sustainable membership growth, let's make it very clear. I wanna be 100% clear on this. We won't take any fake clubs, any fake Rotarians in Rotary. I get really sad when I see a district that grows 500 in one year and drops 600 the following year. That's not growth. That's just an electrocardiogram. Ups and downs, ups and downs. If it grows 500, next year we'll have to keep the 500 and add another 100. So we cannot grow as a fake club or as a fake Rotary. That's not sustainable. And that affronts our number one question of the four-way test. Is it the truth? If it's not true, it does not interest me. It's not worry. It's not our value. We have to grow. But we have to grow for the sound and good reasons. Not just to be on the center stage, get an award, and the club suffers from the drop of membership in the following years. We have to think a multi-year plan. I am challenging my district governors to start working now, helping Gordon and helping Stephanie achieve the goals that were set for a three-year period, not only for one year. We won't accomplish anything healthy in one year. We have to think long-term, and we are thinking long-term. What do I mean by partnerships? I recently learned that one of my, uh, one of the district governors in India, I don't know, I can't remember if it's my year, 25, 26, or Stephanie, was also the president of the All Masters Federation of Printers in India, which is exactly the position I had. So that's where the talent is. The talent is in the bar associations. We have a lot of lawyers in Rotary. Why don't we partner with the bar association and present to the bar association what Rotary is? Why don't we talk to the engineers club, the architects, the doctors, the physicians, the medical people, the dentists like Gordon McNally. Why don't we talk to those people? Why don't we talk to the industry federation or the trade federation or the chamber of commerce? In my visit to Bangalore, I asked specifically Nagesh. I said, Nagesh and Raju. I said, I want to visit the chamber of commerce. I want to talk to those guys. Maybe they know Rotary, maybe they don't. Maybe they have uh, not a clear idea of what we do. So this is where we will find talent that is of interest to Rotary. We are not going to fish people out of the streets. We are not going to beg for membership. We are not, we don't have an even to advertise. We just have to expose ourselves to the right kind of people, to the right talent pool, to people who share our ideas of thinking beyond your own interests. And if you work, if you volunteer in an industry association or in a commerce 
or trade association. You work for the betterment of your collective environment. You don't only work for your company, your business, your practice, your lawyer practice, your medical practice. You work for the good of people in that segment. That's the kind of people we want. With, their, with this mentality that not only they can connect, they can leverage their connections, it's legitimate. I wish all Rotarians would profit from the connections within Rotary, would profit from doing business amongst our own community. I would love to see that. It will enhance participation and we will justify you know, the dedication that some Rotarians have to our cause. But then, Rotary goes far beyond that. We are a school of leadership. I was formed, graduated, and now I'm trying to get my PhD in the Rotary School of Leadership. I'm always learning. I am a true follower of that saying, once you stop learning, you start dying. I don't wanna die. I wanna keep learning as much as I can. So thank you very much for the opportunity to address you guys. I'll be in India in a couple of weeks. I'll probably have a chance to meet some of you in person. And I'll sure I'll go back to India a lot of times between now and June 26. Thank you very much for the opportunity to address the Rotary Club of Madras, and felicitations for your work. Thank you, sir, for those words of wisdom and advice and uh, bringing the values of Rotary back into focus and most importantly, recognizing India's role in keeping the Rotary movement alive. Uh, I'd like to now turn it over to our president-elect, Chella Krishna, who's here to moderate the Q&A segment of this talk. Thank you, Prabha, and uh, good evening and good afternoon to uh, President Ravi of my own club and uh, RIP and Mario. Thank you for taking your valuable time and spending it with us. Thank you also for taking additional time to answer our questions. And um, before we move into that, uh, I take the opportunity to welcome you to Chennai at the next time that you are in India or even make a trip exclusively to Chennai. We're okay with that too. So we, we really look forward to your presence and welcoming you, and making us part of our Rotary Club of Madras family. On that note, sir, I, I, I did look at the chat box and a few other avenues that we had opened up for questions and I came across a few. I, I shall narrate one by one to your attention. Um, the first question comes from Dr. Sam Hancock. Uh, who says that uh, as uh, you know, he talks about the rule of 35, which you spoke about, I think at an earlier occasion at his club, which I understand is the Rotary RID 7620 Washington. And he says that uh, the rule of 35 has been a great recruiting format for recruiting young deserving professionals. And he has asked us to a format to take this to a wider audience and what your thoughts are on the matter. Well, Sam knows that I was admitted at 23, so I'm all in favor of it. I think that um, I would be very concerned if Rotary did not have any bridges with the younger people. I would be very concerned because then we wouldn't have any potential market. And I'm thinking of, you know, market-wise, sales-wise. Whom are we going to sell our speech to, you know, our speech of our five values? Um, the younger people are already with us. I came from the youth exchange program. We have a lot of Rotaracts. We have interactors. We have alumni from the Rotary Foundation. We have Ryla. So we have all this population of younger people that are already within our boundaries, that know our values, that share our beliefs. I think what we have to do is extend our hands out to them. The first step was elevate Rotary in 2019. But to be honest, to be candid, we've not done very much ever since. We must pursue that path. We must integrate Rotary actors into our committees at district levels. 
we must integrate rotor actors in our committees at club levels, at zone levels, at RI levels. So they may be part of our decision-making process, not only as cheap labor. We have to involve more and more people. Below 35 is an excellent idea that will focus on you know, what age bracket we want. I mean, I'm an old guy. I've been in Rotary for 43 years. I do not absolutely despise the contribution of senior people like myself. I would be ejecting myself out of the chair. I don't want to be, I don't want to go that way. But I think that we must have a responsibility towards the younger people because they will inherit Rotary. And we have that proximity. We are close. They are part of our programs. Somebody asked me, Mario, how do you do this? I said, well, let's be very pragmatic. Uh, does the Zone Level Institute integrate the RDRs into the programs? Because we are training DGNs. I'm going to Bangalore. I'm addressing the DGNs from India, 25, 26. How are the RDRs from India? Are they into the program? into the training process, because we must walk the talk. You know, if we want to integrate them, it has to start with the training, because that's where we instill ideas into the governor's brains. That's when we preach our values. Where is the Rotaract population in there? As a director, I convened and made the district pay because they cannot afford to pay, but the district has funds to pay for the RDRs to attend the institute training. Because if you want to incorporate, if you want to aggregate, if you want to include younger people, we must do it from the start, which is the training. So that's step number one. Step number two, put those people to work. Rotarians, Rotaractors hate laziness. If they are lazy in their clubs, they leave. They don't feel worthy. They don't feel useful. They leave. They go somewhere else. The only reason they stay in Rotary is connection and service. If they don't connect and they are not provided service, they leave very smartly because they haven't found the right atmosphere for the club to dedicate their talents to. So very pragmatically, that's some of the ideas that uh, will be derived from under 35 that Sam is proposing. I'm totally in favor of it. Thank you for your very clear uh, response to the earlier question. And I'd like to now draw, draw the, I mean, draw, uh, raise the other point that was brought up at the chat box, which is, uh, how does Rotary plan to address at a global level the regional differences in membership growth and decline? Yeah, that's a very good one. Uh, the project of regionalization has different interpretations around the world. For Australia and New Zealand, for the British Islands, is a chance to review some of our governance structure. They attribute the fall of membership to our governance structure. Um, that's an assumption. It's still not very clear to me whether that assumption is valid or not. I think we'll have to test it. And that's the reason we are piloting. We are testing this pilot to see and check at the end of the three-year pilot whether that assumption is right. Uh, being a test, we can assume anything we're going to do a test and see the results. For that specific era of the world, for other parts of the world, regionalization is bringing more authority, bringing more power, bringing more decision making to the regional level instead of Evanston. And I think that's not only in Rotary, that's happening everywhere. If you see corporations, how they are functioning today, you know, the management process in China may be different than India, may be different than Brazil, may be different than the original, you know, from the headquarters in the U.S. Because to be able to thrive, 
we have to keep in tune with the local culture. What is the reason Rotary is growing in India and not growing in other parts of the world? We have to verify that. We have to analyze this. We have to vet it. We have to dedicate some time to understand the reason. India model can be replicated around the world. Maybe yes, maybe not. Maybe that's typical of the Indian environment, which has added 400 million people to the middle class over the last 15 years. And I follow that because I was in India 2008 for the first time, and I was there last year. And I can see the evolution. So Rotary is surfing on that economic wave, serving on that growth of economic development in India. Is that replicable someplace else in the world? I don't know. And that's what regionalization will give space for us to discuss. I mean, what works in India may work or may not work in Brazil or may not work in Africa. And I think if we have a more regional approach and more independence, more autonomy, regionalization has to do with autonomy. Let's be very honest. If it deals with autonomy, we have to be able to outsource some of the power out of the board to a level that's closer to the club and district level. And uh, I think that is something that we'll have to observe and monitor and see the results over the next years. Now, we don't have to necessarily concentrate everything in Emerson. If it proves that it's worthwhile spreading some decisions to the local level, and if that adds to Rotary image, if it adds to Rotary uh, membership, if it adds to the Rotary Foundation programs, let's do this. Now, the only thing we can abandon are our five values, diversity, integrity, leadership, fellowship, and human service, humanitarian service. All the rest is negotiable. Uh, thank you, uh, 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 RIP and Mario. I, I, I will ask for one more question from you. Uh, because we are running out of time, but we do have a ton of questions on the chat box. So perhaps we will mail those to you uh, for a personal response, okay. if you don't mind. So I, Go, I will. Gopi, I will Gopi you, uh, has my Gopi has my email, so it's okay. Yes, yes he does. Yes. So uh, on on this one's from uh, our own uh, district's PDG uh, Jay Sridhar. He's asked a question on uh, for India. What would do you think would be the first option for membership strategy? Uh, organic growth retention on new clubs. Uh, what would be your advice to India at a regional level? I think it's a segue from your point that you are making on regionalization. Yeah, there are several opportunities. And, and uh, you know, India has been a good example of membership growth. I would say it's a very interesting uh, uh, number that I'm going to give you. I didn't mention at the beginning, but uh, during my interview as president, the first question was, please elaborate on your year as president. What will you do about enhancing uh, club, diverse club formats, you know, other club formats uh, to enhance diversity? And so I did a little research on satellite clubs, which I think are more flexible clubs. Uh, I have a pretty good experience in my club, who was, which was resistant to a satellite club. We were already 105 members. And uh, I don't know if that's true in India, but my club said, oh, we are good enough. We are 105. We don't need to grow. I think there are some clubs in India that might think that, just like my club. You know, we are good enough. We've got a good size. We are very diverse in terms of age brackets. We have four permanent projects. We're good. We don't have to do anything. I said, yes, you do, because it's not guaranteed. No. Years will go by. And we are going to get old, and we have to enhance diversity. So we created a satellite club of 45. So our club went from 105 to 150. 
And the older guys, myself included, I was not in that bunch, that specific item, because I was director. I had to propose something new. And the club only accepted because I was the director of reinforcing the need to innovate. So they accepted, much to their disbelief. Well, today, they're the biggest supporters of the satellite. And we grew from 105 to 150. How many satellite clubs, how many members belong to satellite clubs on a global level? Out of 1.2 million, only 9,000. So it's 0.75%. I wouldn't call it a success. After five or six or seven years that we've been preaching the districts to adopt new club formats because they are attractive to people who cannot attend a weekly meeting. But they are Rotarians at heart. They want to contribute. They want to serve. They want to participate. They can enhance our institution, but cannot, their agenda does not allow them to do a weekly meeting. So that's one of the reasons satellite clubs were formed because to open up the possibility for people with that kind of a limitation that are still attracted to our brand. So 9,000, we've got a lot of ground to cover. Um, even if we double that amount, it's only 9,000, it's nothing. So we've got a lot of new avenues to tread on, a lot of opportunities that are open. And if I uh, could advise, could give some advice to Angel, said, think of these new club formats, because there are maybe a lot of people out there who cannot participate in the traditional format, but are nevertheless willing and capable of serving a Rotary Club. Thank you, RIP and Mario from my side and RCM's side. I now, I thank you very much for taking time to answer these questions patiently and very clearly. I now hand over proceedings to our MC, Prabhas Srinivas. Thank you, Chela, and uh, thank you to our speaker, Mark Marco, for your insights, and most of all to our participants for being so enthusiastic and getting us so many questions. We hope that we could answer them in the course of the next week. Uh, now we turn it over to our secretary Sasha Sai for uh, you know for the to deliver the vote of thanks. And before that, we have past president Gopi who wants to say a couple of words. Uh, thank you, Prabha. I just wanted to uh, invite specifically a friend of the Rotary Club of Madras from the Rotary Club of Coral de Tierra, California, Doug Brown. Uh, I saw him on the call just now. And also another Rotarian, uh, Mario, you would be interested to know. His name is Rotarian Baskaran Pillay. He's uh, actually brought out the seventh edition of Know Your Rotary. I'm not sure whether you have that book. Uh, it's, a, it's a compendium of all the history of Rotary around the world and India specifically. And I hope you get a copy of it. Uh, welcome, Baskar and Pillai. Thank you, Prabha. Over to you, Sesh. Uh, thank you, uh, Prabha. Uh, Rotary Mario, uh, I was told you're a printer. Uh, I don't know if you're printing currency notes, but definitely you've printed wisdom in our heads on Rotary. It was awesome. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I wish I could. <laughs> Thank you, sir. So uh, you spoke about the three important things. One about uh, uh, being, re I mean, respect is something which has got into your heart. In India, they greet each other, uh, you know, and they say Namaste. The word form of Namaste is Namaskara or Namaskaram, which has a very unique meaning, which actually means I see divinity in you and I bow to the divinity in front of me. So our uh, <coughs> incoming president had said, uh, if you can come to Chennai, You'll kind of a kind of a you know experience that respect which you had actually have in your heart. So thank you for that uh, insightful and amazing speech, sir. And though you're from Brazil and we have our president in Japan, you know we are able to connect in between in India. And uh, I think we had a wonderful insights from you. Thank you so much, sir, for uh, your valuable speech and all the other uh, uh, things which you had said. For example, you had said innovation. If you look at it. Uh, the incoming presidents of uh, Rotary Club of Madras are young people. A bald-headed fellow like me will not get innovation. Certainly young people would get innovation. So thanks for their efforts in uh, 
making this event a grand success. Uh, we have the governors, the, the governor uh, Ravi Raman and uh, incoming governor uh, Dynamic uh, uh, Saravanan, and we also have a, a gorgeous and uh, generous uh, <laughs> governor uh, Vinod Sarogi here, and uh, they had, uh, uh, <coughs> you know, made this program really lively. And of course, on my right, uh, we have uh, Prabha, and uh, it's her office, and the whole thing is uh, given by her. As I walked in, I saw a lot of balloons, and I asked if it is their birthday. Then the, one of the employees here said, no, no, it is for the men's day. So she's already following the DIY, DEI, sorry. And at the same time, you know, she's been a phenomenal MC. Not only that, she must have taken a minimum of four hours to write down the minutes, uh, minute by minute, uh, and, uh, you know, the whole agenda. So give her a good round of applause, all of you, for making this event a beautiful event. And on the, my left, we have a Gopi. You know, he's the engine. He's very persistent. You know, he's uh, uh, not only persistent, and he's got connections all over the world. But for him, this wouldn't, uh, event wouldn't have happened. And uh, rotating in Mario, I'm sure you'll also vouch for it. And we have Srini here. You know, though it looks very clean on the front, at the back, you can see a lot of, uh, you know, equipments here. And it is because of Srini who's uh, made this possible. I mean, this technicality seem very easy and thank you Srini for and all his support staff who had given a phenomenal experience for all of us as if we are right in front of you uh, Mario and uh, we also have Rotarians from all other countries and more Rotarians from RCM and all other Rotarians from the district and other districts in India thank you for this uh, beautiful evening and thanks to all of you for making I forgot uh, one gentleman Vikram today I, I kept him as the last one because we had a timeline and from morning he was harping on timelines and uh, but for his effort we wouldn't have finished on time and thank you for that and uh, God bless you all. Namaskaram to all of you. Thank you Fish. Um, so as we approach the end of this today's program it's time now to pay tribute to the flags of Brazil and India and what better way to do that than to play the national anthem of Brazil followed by that of India. So,
तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे And now over to Tokyo, where our President Ravi will close the meeting. Unmute, unmute, unmute yourself, Ravi. I now declare that twenty-first weekly meeting of the Rotary Club of Madras uh, has adjourned. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, R.I.P. and Mario, for accepting our invitation. It was wonderful to listen to you.